Now in the previous videos, we've been talking about these ports and these port numbers. Now let's start to define what they are. So first of all, what is a port? Well, a port is just a number. It's just a number that is put into a sequence to indicate what application layer protocol is sending or receiving that data. So for example, uh, web data is sent to the HTTP protocol and it's labeled port 80. So when a receiver receives something with port 80 in the destination port uh, field, it knows, hey, I should, this is HTTP data and I can render this in my, uh, my browser application. So that's all a port number really is. So it turns out that our computers are listening for port information. It's listening for packets on certain ports and it's rejecting packets on other ports. So I just um, looked up on my own computer a service and then uh, looked up what port that service is listening on. So here in my service, uh, one of my services, I notice I've got the AOMI, I guess that's how you pronounce it, backup or scheduled service. So in other words, this is a backup, piece of backup software. And when I did this netstat-a-b command in the command line, I noticed that the, my AB, which is my AOMI backup service.exe application, is listening on port 2869. And this is the name of my computer over here. How come it has three O's in it instead of two O's? That's interesting. And that it's currently listening on that port. So these are usually services. Your print spooler, for example, is listening on a port, and your browser is listening on a port, and so on. And it's just listening for incoming information on your, on, on your uh, network interface card uh, so that it knows, hey, if I get this information, I need to listen to that and do something with it. Now, there are three groups of ports. Any port listed from 0 to 1023 is what we call a well-known port. These are ports that are assigned by IANA, the uh, Internet, uh, I don't remember what that actually stands for. I'd have to look it up, so never mind. But IANA is the name of the organization. It's a standards organization. Um, <clears throat> and Numbering Association, Internet, I, I don't remember. Anyway, um, these are ports, uh, port numbers that are assigned to very common uh, applications. So for example, HTTP and FTP and uh, POP and SMTP and other, other uh, typically layer 7 protocols that we use all the time in the TCP IP protocol stack. Registered ports are those that are used by various companies. For example, a game server uh, might have a registered port. They would register their port between 1024 and 49151 with IANA. There is a form on the IANA website where you can do that, and you can say, hey, this is the port I intend to use. Now, other companies and other servers can also use that same port, uh, but uh, uh, typically you would register that port with IANA so that it would get listed in the IANA's database. Finally, other dynamic ports from 49152 to 65535. These are used um, in passing, temporarily. So, for example, if I send a request for a uh, web page, say the Google search page, to Google, well, I would send it to 443 because that is what they're, uh, that's the HTTPS protocol, and that's what the Google server is listening on for requests. But at the same time, I would give it a source port number of maybe uh, 50012 and that way when the information came back to my computer my computer rec can recognize it it'll open up a firewall uh, hole for that particular port and allow that information in and then I will know my computer will know what to do with it when it receives it that my browser is waiting for traffic on that particular port number so these are used fleetingly briefly uh, typically by um, by clients uh, computers by sender sending computers in order to listen for return traffic and that's it for our port numbers